The V6 panel consists of four separate modules. This innovative design gives you the freedom to choose which panels you have open and how to arrange them to best fit your particular screen size and Photoshop workspace. In this chapter I'll show you how to create a custom Photoshop workspace and give you some ideas on how you might choose to arrange your V6 modules. Photoshop has some preloaded workspaces. This is what the preloaded photography workspace looks like. The Photoshop workspace can also be customized and you can save different workspace layouts. As you can see I have created several different custom workspaces that I can switch whenever needed. Customizing the Photoshop workspace can be a little confusing until you get the hang of it. To create a new custom workspace, first go to the Workspace menu and choose New Workspace. Give the workspace a name and click OK. Now begin dragging the panels where you want them. They can hover over your image area or you can dock panels with other panels to create panel groups. You do this by placing the mouse pointer over another panel's boundary. The blue outline indicates how the panels will dock. If you don't see a panel you're looking for, you can open hidden panels by going to the window menu and choosing from the list. In the installation video, I already showed how to open the V6 modules, but let's do it again so they're open in this new custom workspace. You can expand or contract individual panels by clicking on the panel's icon. You can expand or contract groups of panels with the double arrows. When you click on a panel's icon, the panel flies out over the top of your image or other panels. If you expand the panel or group using the double arrows, it moves the image and the other panels over without covering them up. You can also drag individual panels anywhere within the screen or even outside of the Photoshop boundary and onto other screens if you have multiple monitors. You can size some panels by clicking and dragging on a boundary. The TK Action modules are fixed dimensions so they can't be resized. If you want to remove a panel or panel group, you can expand it and then select Close from the panel menu. If you move or change the panels in the currently active workspace, that new arrangement automatically becomes the new layout for that workspace. You can adjust existing workspaces, create new workspaces, or delete workspaces at any time. Breaking the V6 panel into four separate modules has the advantage of taking up less space on your screen and allowing you to place them in a variety of locations to customize them for your particular needs. The Combo, Rapid Mask 2, and Batch modules are all the same width. This makes them good for aligned stacking in a dedicated panel dock in Photoshop. or docking as module tabs. If you previously used the V5 panel, then the stacked module layout is probably familiar to you. It makes the modules very accessible, but also takes up quite a bit of workspace, especially if you have a smaller monitor. The Combo X or CX module was designed to save space. It has all the same buttons as the combo module, but arranged in a thin toolbar style layout similar to the Photoshop Tools panel. It can be conveniently tucked to the side of the workspace so that its functions are always available, but it takes up less than half the width of the combo and Rapid Mask 2 modules. You probably don't want to stack the CX module in the same dock as the Rapid Mask 2 module since they're different widths and will not align properly, resulting in wasted space. Instead, I recommend docking the Rapid Mask 2 and Batch modules as tabs above Photoshop's Layers panel.
Since these aren't needed all the time, they can share space with other Photoshop panel tabs. This saves workspace, making the CX module available all the time while having the other modules quickly available when they're needed. This is now my preferred TK Actions workspace layout. I hope this has provided you with some ideas for your own custom workspace. As you can see, the options for custom module arrangements is wide open. Remember that you can modify and adjust your workspaces at any time, so don't feel like you're locked into anything.